Hello, and welcome to Good Choice, Bad Choice, the Hedrick Elementary Club 21 Procedures Guide. Let's start by looking at this group of children who just entered the gym to start Club 21. Does this look like the type of thing you're supposed to be doing when Club 21 starts? No. It is very important to start with that when students come to Club 21, they enter the gym quietly. That way they know any directions or special events that's going on. Once you're in the gym, you need to find your group or your class and have a seat with them. Make sure when you sit down you keep your hands to yourself and you're not running around. It makes it very hard for the younger students to listen. Next up, make sure you listen for instructions. You might not be going back to your classroom. It could be a special day with a special speaker or you could be going outside. It's very important you listen. Finally, when it's time to leave the gym, make sure you exit in a nice straight line and stay in a nice straight line all the way until you are in your classroom or wherever your group is going. That means keeping your hands to yourself, not running around, and standing one in front of the other. Turn it up, turn it up. Okay, time to go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. No, stop, stop, this is wrong. That is not what we do in the hallways. When we're in the hallways, we keep our hands to ourselves. We don't touch or grab or knock anyone over. And we are always at a voice level one or zero. And most importantly, we walk in a straight line. We aren't a herd of cows. Come on. This is much better. Okay, let's move on. Here we're gonna hit, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, stop, stop, hey. This, okay, if you're watching this, children, don't do this. This is the absolute wrong thing to do in the bathroom. Ooh, his shoe is in the to- Oh, oh, okay, let's do the right thing. When it's bathroom break, make sure you wait until it is in your turn, and then you walk to the bathroom. You walk, you don't run. You don't want to slip in there, that would be bad. Second up, when you're finished, make sure you wash your hands, and then sit back down. See, it's simple. You don't need to do anything crazy like that. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, stop, guys! Oh! Okay, here's a problem. When it's snack time, you need to make sure you just take one snack each. You don't go and grab three, just one a person. And then make sure you throw all your trash away. And most importantly, clean up your area when you're done. Hey. What are these girls doing? Don't they realize these boys are trying to work? Okay, let's look here. We have these people trying hard to work, and these students are goofing off around them. Do you think that makes it easy for them to work? Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is not what we want. We want to see things that are not like this at all. Oh look, and now they stop working. See what happens? If you're goofing off around people, they start goofing off. Oh, this is much better. They're letting them work in peace. That way they can finish all their work and play without getting in trouble. Whoa. Wait, what's this? Oh, okay. Club 21, all the stuff we use, it's for everyone. Do not destroy it or tear it apart. You need to treat all the Club 21 equipment nicely and with respect so it can last for These a long time. These kids are being loud and rowdy. Let's see if they hear it. They didn't even hear the signal. Come on. Make sure whenever you're in a large group with everyone talking that your ears are open so you can hear all signals and instructions. And most of all, make sure you observe the voice level system. Level 0 is again? silent. Level 1 is a whisper voice. Level two is only that the neighbor and the people around you can hear. It's not very loud. And level three is your normal talking voice. Club 21, bad choice. Using phones without permission and playing with your cell phones during class time. You can have a phone, but it needs to stay tucked away in your backpack and not out during Club 21 time. 
And you are never to use the classroom phones without a note or express permission first. Now look here, we have Jesse talking on the classroom phone. Good choice! He has a note. You must have a note to use the phone. And look at all these students waiting politely with their notes. Good choice. We like this a lot. Let's talk about the playground a bit. When you're on the playground, please don't throw wood chips. Someone could get hurt, it could get stuck in your eye, and use all equipment safely. You could easily fall and break a leg or break the seat. And most importantly, for your own safety, make the good choice of not climbing on slides or going up the wrong direction. You could fall off and break your arm or go up the slide and get kicked in the nose. Ah! But good choices. Use the equipment. Run around. Look at these using it wonderfully. Good choice. And of course, when the whistle blows... See, that's the whistle. I'm smart. Okay, here comes the whistle. Everyone runs to line up. They are so good. Excellent choice. See how everyone's going to the area where they're already told to go? They don't have to wait for the Club 21 instructor. They just walk right up and line up. Excellent choice, kids. Now, I have one more thing I want to discuss, and that's if you see someone on the playground, in class, before Club 21, anytime, being picked on, do the right thing. Go tell an adult immediately. That way, they can come in and help and stop this. Bullying and picking on people is not funny, it's not acceptable, and it can really hurt someone's feelings. That wraps up our procedures for Club 21 at Hedrick Elementary. Now all of you have the tools and the know-how to make the good choices and not make the bad ones. for this. 